It's funny, we were doing a little shooting segment today, and we were wrapping that up. And I said, I know how much you guys love when we hunt out of these blinds. We're going back to a blind this evening. Just because, you know, that's, that's the best setup for these winds we got. Where we have the mature box, you know. We just don't have a good tree stand set up right now. So, at any rate, I got on my latest vlog. And there's a comment, sure enough, about hunting in the blinds over a food plot. How could you do it? How could you even think of it, Owen? It just makes me laugh. First of all, if you've got private land, why would you not plant a food plot? Or as many as you could. I mean, that's why we have the land. You know, we want to see game. We want wildlife on the land. And obviously it makes a big difference as to what you see in any given night or all season, really. That's most of the fun. Do the work and see the animals. And hopefully you're successful at some point in time. But it goes back to what I was saying on one of the Ask the Team questions. I was saying, you know, let's just quit being so divisive and support each other and congratulate your fellow hunter. You hunt the way you want to hunt and let others hunt the way they want to hunt. I mean, if you want to go hunt with a spear in the middle of the jungle, go for it, have fun, but you know, let the other people hunt the way they want to hunt. You know, at least they're getting in the outdoors and enjoying it, so. That's my little tidbit so far for today. October 12th this is the day after that cold front moved through it's really warmed up I didn't expect it to be this warm today but they missed the forecast by a little bit but I wasn't gonna sit in the house I'd rather be out here watching deer so we got a beautiful little green source here I checked this camera this is part of the cutty link I got a cutty back set right there there was a there was a group of does on it last night, but there wasn't one buck inside. So I don't I don't know that I'm that confident. But for the goofy wind we have, the E is going from south and then east south or southeast, then east southeast. So to cover all those winds, this is about the only good setup we've got for you know in, in an area where a target buck is at. The deer I'd really like to see here is that split G2 buck. He was in here on camera. I think it's about five days ago. I got some better pictures of him so you can really see what he is and he probably top of the list I'd say right now the top couple anyway Wolverine would be right up there as well but so anyway hopefully we see that deer that'd be the one Well guys, the evening's winding down. I think we got about 15 minutes left here. Kind of played out about like I was expecting. We saw a few deer, but the mature bucks, well any bucks for that matter, were no shows. I don't think I'm gonna hunt tomorrow when we got another weather front moving in. Tomorrow it's gonna rain most of the day, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday look to be really good. We've got another cold front. All three of those days are gonna be nice and cool, so. We'll be back then. We'll see you guys then.